morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are live after 5 a.m. and we are in period one and we're going to finish up GUI part two. So basically all we got to do today is um, put in our non-visible components. You want to do that first because that's pretty easy. You guys want to you do that with me right away? All right. Let's go hit some non-visible components because that's very simple. So what do we need? Accelerometer. So does anyone know what drawer that's in? Sensors, you guys are learning a lot. Good. So you drag in an accelerometer, done. What's next? Clock? Yeah, if we're going to run this clock here with time, we need a clock. That's also in sensors. Good. Clock one. Let's go ahead and call that um, clock game time. I like to know that that's clock game time. And you're going to notice right here there's a timer interval. Does everybody see what value is in that timer interval? What value, what number is in the timer interval right there? 1,000. Does anybody know what that is? 1,000 what? Not 1,000 seconds. 1,000 seconds is actually a pretty long time. Let's see, 60 seconds goes into 1,000, right? 60, 60 times 10 would be 600. That's 10 minutes. 600 would be 10 minutes. Are you with me? So that's over, that's over 10 minutes. That's over 10 minutes. So that's not 10 minutes. It's 1,000 milliseconds. And you guys want to make a mental note of this? Who can write this on the board for me? Um, can you write on the board that um, 1,000, and write this down on your engineering design paper, 1,000 milliseconds. 1,000 milliseconds is one second. Everybody put one finger in the air. Not your middle finger. I saw that. Kimberly, I saw that. One thousand milliseconds. Okay. Here we can make a little video on this. Let's do this here right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and analyze this for a second, right? The more we analyze, the more we know, right, Xander? The more we analyze, the more we know. Um, let's go ahead and do this was our GUI, right? That looks like a it looks like a marker bomb went off there, doesn't it? I have so much stuff opened. I need to. I need to just. I have so much stuff open. Video. Look at this. I have two videos up. All right. So here we go. Let's write this down. Okay. You guys ready? Uh, let's get a pen, and I've got blue. Okay, 1,000 milliseconds is equal to one second of time. What is 500 milliseconds equal to? 0.5, one half, or 0.5, 0 0.5 seconds. Here's how I like to think about this. It happens two times per second. Okay, so if you move your sprite at 500, it's going to happen twice a second. Um, let's go to a number. How, how about 250 milliseconds? 250 milliseconds is equal to one-fourth of a second, right? 0 0.025, are you with me on that? How many times does that happen per second? Four. Four times per second. So if you move your sprite at 250, that's a terrible 250, but if you move your sprite at 250 milliseconds, it's going to move four times every second. Thousand one, move four times. Thousand two, move four times. Are you with me? Who's getting this? 200 milliseconds is how many seconds? That's one fifth of a second which is 0 0.20, which happens five times per second. 
100 milliseconds is how many? One tenth. Very good. Which is 0 0.10. It happens how many times per second? 10. So if you move your sprite at 100 milliseconds, it's moving 10 times in a second. 1001. And we're actually going to do a we're actually going to do um, an app where we actually we, we're going to play whack-a-mole. You guys ever played whack-a-mole before? And it bounces around the screen and appears different places. Okay, let's get a little crazy here. What about 50 milliseconds? How many times does that happen in a second? Nope. You're close. One twentieth. Okay. Zero point zero five. That happens twenty times in a second. Is your sprite moving pretty fast? If it's moving twenty times in a second, yeah, it's flying. Okay. Um, what about twenty-five? Twenty-five milliseconds is equal to one fortieth. <laughs> okay. It's moving forty times per second. 10 milliseconds. You think your sprite's going to move pretty fast here? That's one. Okay. What is that? That's one one hundredth. 10 times 100 is? 1,000. Are you with me on that? So that's 1,000 times per second. Write that down in your paper. you got to know this, right? The more you know about your computer, the more you can program your computer. All right. Any questions about this? Next question, if 1,000 milliseconds is one second, how much is 500 milliseconds? Answer is 0 0.5, half of a second. That's a test question. Now you know. Okay, here we go. We're back to our video. All right, so what I want you to do today, just clean this up. Um, okay, we got game time in here. Let's do some more. What do we need? Maybe a sound? Um... Uh, we could have some media. I can show you how to do a sound tomorrow. Um, what else do we have on the board there? Text to speech, speech recognizer, text to speech, drag it in. Okay. Thumbs up if you got that. Pretty easy. Just drag in your. I mean, once again, what are you guys? What should you be staring at? Not me. What should you be staring at? Not the screen. What should you be staring at? Morgan engineering design paper and you should have been thinking about this yesterday right what do you want in your program right okay you look at your engineering design paper and if you don't have it you can look at my board up here right look at your engineering design paper it is your friend and now you've got those milliseconds and all that stuff down there right because we slowed down to speed up we thought about milliseconds and time and all that good stuff now okay so today I'm gonna show you how to go out and get a root remember we're gonna do the up down left and right arrow so I'm gonna show you how to do this I'll just go out and get an arrow what was that um, go to images okay anybody find one they like you like this one here blue one we might as well put a PNG in there so we don't have to do a lot of work to it Uh, try and look for one that doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. How about that one? I like that one we had earlier. I like this one. What is it? Oh, that's it. That's a good one. Oh, by the way, there's a reset button too. We can go get that. So view image, right click, save image. What should you guys do now? Once you start saving images, the first thing you should do is go into your documents quarter four and I should create a new folder and you need to name it 1.1.3 count me in and I go into this folder and I save my icon and by the way since I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, icon also view image right click save image Put that in my folder. That'll give me my reset button, kind of matching. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how to 
I only need one arrow, and I can get all four of them just by rotating it. Are you with me on that? Because then you don't have to worry about finding matching, because it's going to be hard to find matching arrows. Are you with me? To, and it's going to be a pain, and you're going to waste time. So watch this. Watch this. Okay, I'm going to go into quarter four. Count me in. I'm going to right-click on my arrow and edit with GIMP. Bless me. Thank you. Okay, here it is. Okay? You guys with me on this? Everybody have one arrow up in GIMP? No? So how do I open something up in GIMP? The easiest way is to go into your file folder, right-click on it, and edit with GIMP. See where it says edit with GIMP there? Thumbs up. You see where it says edit with GIMP. Okay. All right. So now once I'm in GIMP, watch this. Can everybody watch this? Because if you, if you don't see this, I'm going to do it so quick, you're going to miss it. Stop, drop, and roll here and watch. Okay. Okay, watch this. I'm going to hit right-click. Right click, image, transform, rotate 90 degrees. What arrow do I have now? The up arrow, okay. So file, export as, um, we'll just call this up.png. Guess what I'm going to do again? <laughs> How do you think I'm going to get the right arrow? To rotate it again. Right click, image, transform. Rotate 90 degrees. What arrow do I have now? Okay. Do you see how now they're all the exact same arrow? I, and I don't have to f go search the internet looking for the exact same right and left arrow. Does that make sense? So just get one that you like and then rotate it. Export as. Um, this is my right arrow. You guys with me on that? Export it. And I'm going to go one more time. Image. Transform. Rotate 90 degrees. File. Export as. Uh, my down arrow. Okay. Boom. Done. Okay. And now I can go back into my app and upgrade my app here a little bit. Let's go to up. Go to image. Upload. Choose a file. Um, I'm in the wrong folder. Go get in the right folder. We made a count me in folder. This is up. Could look a little funny because it's got a shadow on there. And it's a little small. Might have to upgrade these at the end. All right, um, I might have to make them a little bigger. Down. You know, I, one thing I could do is take the letter off. Maybe I could see it better. Take the writing off. There we go. Now we can see it a little bit. Okay. Um, let's go to my right arrow. So you go image, right, choose a file, right. Do you guys see that little tiny shadow in there? I don't know if it's going to affect it. Let's go to left, get rid of the text. Um, image, upload, choose a file. To, to, to left. Boom. Okay, so now I need jump and shoot. Okay. And I got a few more minutes in here and then I got to leave. Because I got ran over by a squirrel. That daggone crazy, humongous squirrel. They're like bears out in Westchester, you know what I mean? Um, I'm going to do, what, a jump jump icon? So, jump icon. Ooh, that's cool. I kind of like this guy, and it's blue, so I'm going to stay with that blue theme. Oh, that's cool, too. I like that guy, too. Ooh. Is that a PNG? No, it's not a PNG. Is this guy a PNG? No, it's not a PNG. How do you know it's a PNG? Anybody know? Yeah, see the checkered background? Who, who said that? Morgan, you are on fire today. I love it. View image. Remember, you want to view image because you get the best possible quality. Okay, and I need to shoot, so let's go back and get shoot. So just go up here and just type in shoot. Make sure we don't have any guns and all that stuff. No guns. Oh, God. Um, I kind of like that guy. Is that a PNG? Yeah. Uh, view image. 
And if you want, I can show you how to change this to a blue if you wanted to. If not, I'll keep it red. Okay. Uh, it would be nice if that was blue since my other ones are blue. So let's go into shoot here. Um, get rid of your S. Um, that was really kind of a placeholder so we knew what it was for. Put that one in. Hit OK. Let's go to jump. I kind of like it being red because, you know, shooting is kind of gives that. Here's our, let's see what the jump button looks like. Okay, that looks good. Um, I don't like this yellow background, so I'm going to go to my HA lower buttons, and I'm going to go black. That's looking a lot better. Ooh, I like it. I like it already. So let's go to the reset button. Don't need any text. Voice, don't need any text. Um, let's go. Do I? Didn't I already have a reset button from last quarter or from last um, last app? Yeah, there they are right there. So let's go to blue mic. Which one's a dot PNG? That one is. Control. And where's my reset button? My reset. Copy. Let's go back into my folder. Quarter four. Count me in. Paste. Why? There we go. All right, so let's go back into here. We're going to go into reset, image, upload, choose a file, reset. Who knows how to do this? Who knows how to put the skins on? Thumbs up. You know how to put the skins on your buttons. Okay. If not, you got to watch this video again. Okay. Voice, blue mic, hit OK. Um, I'm going to change this enabled to um, red text. And I'm going to go to no background here. HA arrangement, no background. Hi, Siri. Thank you. Um, what do we want Yoshi running around in? What screen do we want Yoshi running around in? Or Mario? Yoshi lives with Mario, right? So isn't that a Mario background? Go ahead and get a background in there. That's cool. Which one do you think Yoshi would like to live in? The hills? Here? The hills. What about green on green? Is that going to be a problem? Should we just do Mario then? Should I just have Mario running around the screen? No? That's kind of cool. I like that. View image. Right click. Save image as. Goes into my folder. Done. App, go into your green background, change the background, upload, choose a file. There it is. I think we got to do green on blue. If you got green on green, you're not going to see Yoshi very well. Okay. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go up here to this background. Go, go to none. Yeah. Say that. Here? How do you make them round? Upload the image. Did you put them in a table arrangement? The table arrangement. Remember we made those squares? Didn't we do table arrangements yesterday? We never did. Ooh. Wow. We never did table arrangements yesterday? Oh, boy. Okay. So, 
Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me let me do this real quick, and I'll show you how to do a table arrangement really quick. Okay. Um, so to finish my Dewey, I'm gonna go to go screen background. Is I'm gonna go black, just because I like black. And then up here with this label, you're gonna have to give it um, a different color. So I'm gonna go go. I'm gonna go blue sky here with this blue. So text color, I'm gonna go blue, and that's gonna look pretty good. Are you with me on that? Okay, so you guys don't know how to make the table arrangement for buttons. All my other classes got to it yesterday. You guys never did? Okay, so um, I'm gonna, here's how you do it. You're going to put in a horizontal arrangement. I'll just put it up here just for kicks and giggles. Are you, I'm going to rebuild this up here. Are you with me on that? Okay, so here's how I would do it. Table arrangement, what should the width be? Still parent, okay? Now, I'm going to center that because I want to put a table arrangement. Do you guys see that little green box now? That is a table arrangement. And remember we made all those boxes with the buttons in it? How many columns and in, in, um, rows do we need? Five. Look on the board. We need five by three. Did you guys not finish your... Um, you did three by three? Okay, we realized, I guess, second period, that we need five, okay? So go into your table arrangement, you need five columns, and you need three rows, okay? Now, the bad thing about this is, is you're not gonna see the tic-tac-toe board here. Who knows what a tic-tac-toe board looks like? That's what a table arrangement is. Do you see how I have it drawn on the board? You guys should have it drawn on your, your engineering design paper like that, is that correct? Do you have that on your engineering design paper? What? No? You need to. You need to have it drawn out on your engineering design paper. Make it look like what I have on the board, okay? Because now, watch this. I can take this button. Everybody watch. Stop what you're doing and watch. Xander, watch here. When I drag this button over here, look. Box one, box two, box three, box four, box five. Are you with me? Do you guys see that little blue box? Where do I want my up button? In the middle, okay? Where do I want my down button? At the bottom. Are you with me? Do you see how I can now start putting them in positions in the tic-tac-toe box? Okay. Now I can go in here, right? And now I can put, that's my up, down, left, and right. And now you can go in there and change your sizes to 24 by 24 and make it round. Are you guys with me on that? So now I could go in here and I could rename this BTN up. Okay, up two. I got to I'm going to call this BTN up two, right? And then you're going to go into your width and height, make it 24 by 24, and you're going to make it an oval. Okay, and then you're going to go to your image since you already uploaded them, and there's my up button, okay? And there it is, and the text is none, okay? And then I'm going to go down here for the same thing. The next one down below is going to be BTN, and i got to call it down to because I already have a down button. And you're going to go to width 24 pixels, height 24 pixels, um, text is none, shapes an oval, Okay, and then I go and put my image on it, all right, and I want the down. Who understands what I'm doing here? Okay, do you guys see that? And then I just keep building this until I get it to look like what I have down here. Okay. Who gets what I'm doing? So table arrangements, you see how you can like place them? The box allows you to, let's say I want it over here, right? This is going to be my reset button over here, right? Or no, I'm sorry, this is going to be my jump button over here. So this guy over here is going to be called BTN jump 2. I got to call it 2 because I already have two buttons. And I'm going to do the same thing. Um, 
24 by 24. It's got to be pretty small because we got a big control panel. Shapes an oval. Um, text is none. And, da, 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 and the image, you go put your jump in there. Go jump. Okay. Now I can go get another button and I can make my left button. Put it right there. Do you guys see how I can put them in positions now? In the t it's like playing tic-tac-toe. How many people have played tic-tac-toe before? Do you get to select which box you put the X or O in? Yeah. So same thing here. You get to select which box you're putting the button in and where you want it to go. So it's like a grid. And on that grid, you place the buttons where you want them to go. Thumbs up if you understand how to do this now. Thumbs down if you don't. What do you not get, Eli? Okay, so do you see this right here? I'm going to drag this out. Okay, that is a tic-tac-toe board. This right here is a horizontal arrangement. Why do I put it inside of a horizontal arrangement? So I can center it. If not, I can't center it. Are you with me? So let me go color this box so you can see it. Magenta, right? That is my horizontal arrangement. And I'm going to take this table and drag it in here. And then you make you have to sit down and look at how many rows and columns do you need. So you have to sit down and figure out how many rows and columns you need. How many rows and columns do you think we need? You have a jump button. You have left, right, up, and down. And you have a shoot button. So if you look at my board, jump is far left. Right? Left is in the second column. Up and down is in the middle third column. Right? Right is in the fourth column. And fire is in the fifth column. How many columns do you think we need? Five. How many rows do we need? Three. Why? Top row is up. Middle row is left and right and shoot and fire and jump, right? Bottom row is down. You need three rows in there. So that's how you construct your control panel. Okay. How we do? So today I want you to make your GUI beautiful. Upgrade it, right? Go get images. Make a folder, download your images to your folder, upload your images to your um, your GUI. Take your time. You still have, what, 17, 18 minutes left. Okay. Make it look nice. Tomorrow we'll put in code. Start to code. Okay. This is for my fifth period class. This is the guy that got me. Okay. This is the guy that was chasing me the other day out in Westchester. All right. You guys got to be, you got to watch out for these guys, man. Okay, they're out in Westchester. They're all over Westchester. Do you guys know where Keener Park is? Who knows where Keener Park is? Okay, these guys are all over Keener Park. Okay, you got to be careful when you, when you walk in Keener Park, okay? These guys are wicked, man. He got me yesterday. I was walking my dog, got chased by that bear squirrel. Okay. I mean, look, look at them, you know, they're, they're just, they're just big, you know.
See, they start out cute and cuddly, but this is how they end up. You with me? Okay. So keep calm and coat on. And if you do see the bear squirrel, you, you got to zigzag. Okay. You got to zigzag. You got to run away. You got to zigzag. You got to get away from them. All right. Because it's, it's, it's from rough stuff. Okay. All right. I hope this video helps. And uh, keep calm and coat.